hi guys uh, good morning and welcome back uh, today we will try to analyze one of the uh, big uh, third largest it company has announced its results so let us uh, uh, go deep into it and we'll try to analyze what is the revenue breakups and from uh, what is the upper uh, net profit sales and all we will try to understand that before going to that let me give a disclaimer that content we are discussing is only for educational purpose it is not a buyer sell recommendation guys uh, slightly let us get into it so that is none other than hcl technologies it is one of the it leading solution provider uh, all across the globe it is one of the multinational company and it is the third largest it company in india guys so there is like you know if you look at the chart yesterday it has given uh, means uh, the friday it has given more than three percent rally because of uh, the tcs cascading effect tcs uh, numbers have been a stellar numbers and uh, it was uh, showing the profit growth as well so uh, we, i have already covered a video on that you can watch it, watch that video uh, on tcs results so the same uh, scl also announced the uh, its quarterly results on friday evening so that uh, i was unable to cover in the yesterday video today i am covering it please uh, like you know uh, watch it guys so like you know if you look at uh, the hcl technologies if you look at uh, two, uh, 210 plus delivery centers are there 60 plus innovation labs are there 10k plus clients using our uh, i mean hcl software and products uh, 2000 plus uh, uh, patented uh, driving innovations are there 17, 17 uh, top employer in 17 countries 5.13 million lives impacted by hcl foundation so if you uh, visit the official website uh, you will uh, get into some of the uh, uh, you will get some insights about the HCL, HCL technology, what it is doing and what is its uh, future perspective and what, is, what exactly current it is doing. So uh, uh, currently the HCL is expertise in digital and engineering and cloud and uh, AI and the software also. AI also it is getting, it is getting into the generative AI also. So it is, I am very curious to watch the HCL technology's growth. So as of now, like you know, let us come back to the uh, HCL technology's uh, quarterly result as of uh, the financial year 2025 ended on June 30th. Okay, so this is uh, the result sheet. So let us uh, dive into the uh, financial report that is submitted to the exchange file in the exchange file. That also we will try to understand. For now, like you know, uh, the HCL sales uh, up by 7% year on year, EBIT uh, up by 8%, net profit up by 21% and EPS up by 21% guys. So HCL technologies results all and all we could say that it beats the expectation what what was the market expectation was there it is uh, like you know uh, sweeped out all the expectation and it is beaten the uh, expectations of the market so I have opened uh, the uh, document uh, from uh, NSC website which is available uh, in the NSC website that financial result update which is uh, updated on 12th July uh, 2024 guys so this is the pdf which i opened uh, from there so this is the official document submitted by the uh, hcl technologies so if you go through this document so the board of directors has uh, declared an interim dividend of 12 rupees per equity share of two each of the company for the financial year 24 25 so for now uh, company has announced or declared an interim dividend of 12 rupees per share so for equity shares if you have one equity shares in hcl technologies you will get the 12 rupee as an interim dividend so if you look at the record date for the interim dividend is july 23rd whoever will be having uh, the uh, shares of hcl technologies on july 23rd so they will be getting the 12 rupees interim dividend per share on august 1st okay so let us uh, get into the uh, financial uh, results which is uh, the next page which is mentioned in the next page consolidated uh, statement of financial results of HCL technologies limited so a little bit of zoom out so uh, this is what so here uh, all are mounting crores okay so this is uh, 30th june 2023 last year data and 31st march 2024 this is the last quarter data and 30th june 2024 this is the june quarter i mean first quarter of financial year data so if you look at the total income uh, which is from revenue revenue from operations and other incomes all together 26,640 crores was in last year June 30th so 31st March 2024 it was 28,915 crores guys so if you look at the this quarter uh, results it is 29,160 crores so after uh, the total income uh, then there will be an expenses so we have to look into the expenses as well inside the expenses there, there are many segments whether it is employee benefit expenses 
whether it is uh, charges in the inventory of the uh, stock in trade, purchase of the stock in trade, and outsourcing cost and finance cost, etc. Many costs will be there. So, these all sum together will come into the total expenses. The total expenses for the last year was 21,944 crores, and then the last uh, March quarter it was 23,646 crores, and uh, in this particular quarter, 23,453 crores, guys. So, if you look at uh, the year on year, uh, the total expenses are also increased and year uh, quarter on quarter, uh, the expenses are slightly reduced. If you look at the total income also, year on year, there is an uh, increase and uh, quarter on quarter also, there is an increase. So, after expenses, we have to remove the expenses from the total income. So, then we will get the PBT, profit before tax. So, profit before tax for the uh, last year, June quarter was 4,696 crores. And uh, for the ma March quarter, it was 5,269 crores, and in this quarter, 5,707 crores, guys. Year on year and quarter on quarter, clearly it, you can see that growth is there. And then comes uh, the tax, and after removing the tax, we will get the uh, profit for the period after removing the tax. So, 3,531 uh, crores uh, were the uh, profit made on the last uh, year, June quarter. In the uh, March quarter, 3,995 crores and in this quarter, 4,259 crores, guys. So, the same you can see uh, the year also, the quarter on quarter and year on year, the profit growth is there, guys. So, then comes uh, the same thing we can see in the uh, earning per share also, 13.05 and uh, 14.72 and uh, 15.70 respectively for the year on year and quarter on quarter. So, year on year and quarter on quarter, clearly we can see the growth is there. So, uh, actually, all and all, we would say that, like, you know, SL Technologies is one of the leading uh, technologies uh, which is uh, working in the software industry and uh, many things we have seen, right? Like, it is in the engineering, it is in the software, it is in the design, it is in the R&D, it is in the, uh, what is that, uh, generative AI. So, generative AI is the one thing which all the IT companies are uh, including in and working on it. So, I think uh, in the next 3-4 quarters, so generative AI will be in focus. We don't know what is the outcome from the generative AI. Uh, definitely, the generative AI is going to disrupt the entire uh, software system or the software ecosystem. Right? So, that is what uh, we can clearly tell. So, HCL uh, results are all and all. It is very good numbers. So, if you look at uh, the sales also growth is there and uh, EBIT also growth is there. Net profit is also growth is there. EPS is also growth is there. And... Uh, this it is announced the interim dividend of 12 rupees as well. So it is all and all uh, the numbers are good and it is beat on the market expectation also. Even when it comes to DCS also same thing happened and uh, that uh, next to day itself the market was up by almost like you know it has crossed uh, 24,500 above. Uh, it is very very good. So I, I think uh, the reaction will be seen for this stock on Monday. Mm -hmm. So please keep this stock in your radar. And uh, keep a close eye on this on Monday. I think there will be a reaction on this stock particularly, guys. So that's all uh, from my side, guys. So we will see you in the next video. Uh, thank you. Thank you so very much.